and Catherine Hopka, Catherine, Catherine, Hopka, Hopka, Hipka, Hipka, I don't know, are a bind up in one book because that's what a bind up is. What, Jan? Like, ugh. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with my January wrap up. I read a total of five books this month. Which all occurred in the first five days of January because I had no life and all I did was read. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first two books that I read this month are Slammed and Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover. I absolutely love Slammed. I didn't really like Point of Retreat. I have a review of these two books down below that I will leave for y'all to check out if you want. Yeah. I'm not really going to say anything more about it because it's all in my review, so go check that out. The third and fourth book are in a bind up called Winter's Kiss. The first book is The X Games by Jennifer Eccles. I gave it one star. I did not like it whatsoever. It was terrible. It's about a couple named Hayden and Nick who went out in seventh grade and they had a very public breakup and now they're exes and they hate each other. When Hayden wins a local snowboarding competition in the girls division she is obviously extremely happy until Nick says that the only reason she won is because boys are not participating and therefore she's not as good as a boy at snowboarding. So they decide that they're going to challenge each other to the snowboarding competition about who is better, girls or boys. This book drove me absolutely insane. Hayden and Nick were so annoying. They were just they acted like they were still in seventh grade. They're supposed to be in 11th grade now, so that means they're like, what, 17, 16, 17? It was extremely repetitive. Every two seconds it was talking about how she's breathing the life-giving oxygen into her lungs and it's helping her. And it, how many times do you have to write life-bringing oxygen? Like, everybody knows that oxygen makes you survive. Why do you have to write it 20 million times? I don't know. I don't know. Some of the jokes were kind of funny in the book, and I did like Hayden's sense of humor. She was pretty funny but she still acted like she was two years old and it drove me insane. The only redeeming quality that I found in this book was Hayden and Josh's sibling relationship. I thought they were basically me and my brother, which made me super happy because we hate each other, but we love each other basically. And it was really nice to read about. But other than that, one star, it was, no, I just did not like it. I didn't like it at all. The fourth book is The 12 Days of Christmas by Katherine Hapka. It is also included in this bind up. I didn't, love it but I didn't hate it. I gave it a three stars on Goodreads out of five. It's about a girl named Lexi and a guy named Cam. They've been dating for four years now until Lexi has her whole life planned out and decides that Cam doesn't really add up into her future that she is seeing for herself and therefore she's gonna need to break up with him. But she doesn't want to break his heart so she decides that the best way to break up with him is to have him fall in love with another girl and then break up with her, so that nobody gets hurt. You know, foolproof plan, obviously, right? Obviously foolproof. Like, what could go wrong? Like, really? Really? Lexi was an interesting character, to say the least. I mean, I don't know who in their right mind would decide that, you know, making your boyfriend for four, four years, four years, fall in love with another girl is a good idea. You know, logic, obviously. I don't, I don't see it. But, you know. Whatever floats your boat, Lexi. Whatever floats your boat. I thought it was really funny that the author tried to play Lexi off as, like, this super smart, logical person, and she always makes the best decisions about life, but you're trying to make your boyfriend of four years fall in love with another girl, and you think this is a logical decision, and so obviously when this happens, you know, your life is over and you need to get him back, which is the whole story. It just didn't make sense to me. It was kind of stupid. I loved Lexi's best friend Allie and her cousin Nick. They were my favorite part of the story. They were so supportive in everything that she did, even though she's freaking crazy, but besides the point. My favorite character was 100% Charlie, though. He plays a super minor role, but he's so funny. I loved him to bits. He was hilarious. The story was really predictable. I called everything that happened and the ending was so obvious. You can probably guess what happens, but it was really cute and fluffy, so I did enjoy it. It was really easy to read. I read it in one day, so. And the fifth and final book that I read this month is Alice in Zombieland. I absolutely love this cover. It's by Jenna Showalter. It was pretty good. I gave it a four out of five stars. It's about a girl named Alice Bell, who's your typical 16-year-old, if you can count having a crazy father who doesn't let you go outside at night, 
because he sees monsters, typical. Allie's whole life changes one night when she loses her entire family and she begins to see these monsters that she criticized her father for seeing all those years because she thought he was crazy. Turns out he ain't so crazy. He ain't so crazy. With the help from a couple of bad boy zombie slayers at her new school, Allie decides that she's gonna fight every zombie and she's not gonna stop until they're all gone. Originally, I did think that this was an Alice in Wonderland retelling. It's not at all. There are a couple elements from Alice in Wonderland, like the White Rabbit, but that's basically where it stops. It's more of like a teen drama high school thing with zombies thrown in there. The plot was really original. I've never read anything like it. I really liked how the author described the zombies. It was really different than your typical zombie. It was basically like there were zombie ghosts and you could only fight them in the spirit realm. It was really cool. It was really interesting. The plot was extremely fast paced. I read it in a day in one sitting. It was really enjoyable. I absolutely loved Allie as a main character. She was so feisty and sassy. Which is basically me. We all know that. I'm the queen of sass. She's also a queen of sass. I loved her completely. It was great. And she's also such a badass. I She doesn't take shit from anybody, which I love because... You know, don't do that, children. Don't take shit from people because they're not worth it. Stand up for yourself. That's all I'm gonna say on that matter. Kat, her best friend, is absolutely hilarious. She's just like Allie. She's a total badass, even though she's kind of like pretending to be a badass, but I still loved her, she was super sassy as well, so obviously she holds a very special place in my heart. And then Cole, who is a love interest, I, he pissed me off because he's a 16 year old, he thinks he's all that, he's super controlling and possessive. And I mean, bro, you're 16, like you're not, you're not old enough to be possessive and controlling, nobody is old enough to be possessive and controlling, so stop, stop it, just stop. Although, like, I, I, you have to admit, you fall for him no matter what. You just you just do, even though he's a total jerk. Not a very nice boy, you fall for him because you just you have to. You just have to. Read the book, you'll figure out. It just you have to fall for him and it's annoying that you do. I did really like Allie and Cole together, even though he was kind of controlling and bossy. He obviously cared for her. And it drove me insane that we don't know one of the reasons why their connection is so intense. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but I wanna know why, and I'm hoping it's in the next book, which I'm probably not gonna read until like April, but you know, we can pretend that I read it. It's fine, but I wanna know, I wanna know. And Allie's grandparents were by far my favorite character. They are adorable. They were always trying to throw out slang and be like teenagery, and it was just really cute. I love them so much. They were adorable. Alright guys, so that was my January wrap-up. I'm not going to put up a February TBR because realistically I'm probably not going to read a lot this year. Hopefully I get my one book done for the month, which is what I said I would do. I don't know what it's going to be. We'll see how hard my school year is. Okay, okay. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>